Hi, Dragon World fans. It's Easy B here back for another B update. Okay, so this is a B update, and um, through this cold winter season in Sydney, Australia, uh, it's been quite cold, and the bees weren't flying that much, so they weren't that active as where as where I was filming um before. So there was a previous B update, and they were going. They were very busy and active but they're not very active today because of the winter season and it's quite cold and this is because then they can only fly over the temperature of 18 degrees celsius so then if if it's under 18 degrees celsius they won't fly and it'll be too cold for them to fly it's also been quite rainy weather so they haven't been getting out as much as in may or april early april so the bees are going quite well you can see some inside here they're getting ready to get out they might get out in this morning time but they might not so it's, they might not yeah and here is some of the resin and you can see those white things i'm pretty sure that that is pollen and this is all the like resin that they've been using to build their home and this is gonna be i'm just gonna give you some shots of the bees inside so you can see quite a lot of them they're just gonna come out of their hive if they think it's right to fly but they're really cool there's heaps of them and you can see the resin on the entrance area that means they've been using it and it's all black because of that's the resin they've been collecting and they collect resin because that's their building material basically so inside the nest um they'll be building all these structures to help the brood baby bees and honey pots and pollen pots so that's their main building resource so they're not coming out right yet they've been suffering a little too um i know it's getting a little bit hotter in sydney now but before it used to be very cold and rainy and what was happening is that the bees were just chucking out um little baby bees on the fl on the floor here right over there and because they were suffering and the, the baby bees couldn't live survive it was quite it was a little too cold for them and they were just chucking it out here so th they were suffering a little for the baby bees and yeah so hopefully it gets a little more hotter so they can fly and now i'll just give you some really cool shots of the bees Oh, some of them are coming out now. They might be coming out soon. There's heaps of in inside here. Oh, there's one coming out. Yes, yeah, so there might be a chance of them coming out today. Hmm. Oh, that one just flew off. Flew off. Hmm. Yeah, I think they're gonna fly now. Cause one just flew off over there or something. And yeah, one just flew off over there. So now um, they might be flying. Let's see if this one takes off. Hmm. not flying up right now all right well yeah so the bees i'll give you some more updates and now let, i'm just gonna give you an update on the plants that i got okay so we are here where the plants are now um I re you would remember that i got this bank here it's grown so that's going perfectly then i have this bottle brush this has grown too so everything's going good with the native plants so they're getting bigger 
Um, and then also I ordered some plants from Bankstown Council, native plants, and they gave it for free. And this is, um, I think honey myrtle. And it gives really vibrant and colorful um, purple flowers which the, bee which the bees love. That's still growing. This is some another bottle brush. This is the Scavola flowers. I haven't seen many native bees on it, so but I've seen a European bee um, trying to get the pollen nectar. So I'm not sure if this is doing much help for the bees. And then I got this from Bankstown Council too. This is like a native um, shrub thing, shrub. And it gives little purple flowers too, which the bees like. So I got this too. And uh, the last little bottle brush here is growing well. And if, you, if I feel here, it's quite fluffy. It was quite fluffy because they're like new leaves. It's quite fluffy and nice. Yeah, so the plants are going very well. Now let's just go back to the bees. So we're back to the bees now. And I just saw one fly off before I recorded this real quick. And the bees have been suffering to summarize up. And now I'm going to show you some really close up pictures of the bees. Stay tuned for that. I'm going to show it right now in three, two, one. Look at these epic close up pictures. Alright, I hope you loved those close-up pictures that I showed you. They are really cool and I took them with a macro lens. A really micro, you can take really close-up things. And the bees are starting to come out, maybe. And this is, and I hope you enjoyed those. And this is Jaguar World Easter Bee signing off for now. I'll be making some more videos of Roblox and other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.